Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to use Animation Point in Explendio 3.0. Here are a few examples of what you can do with Animation Point. Some basic flipping, flying in, as well as something more interesting like this that you probably saw in the Facebook group. By the way, Animation Points are not new to EVC 3.0. This feature already exists in EVC 2.0 Pro. So let me show you how Animation Points work. Okay, so I've got this project file already open, and it includes scenes that I just showed you. So first, let me just show you what animation points are, and let me create a new scene. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add an SVG image of Facebook right here. It's an SVG image, which is increase the size. And then let me just hide the timeline. And you will notice this Add Animation button right here. And if you click on it, you will see that it will create a duplicate image like so. And you can see that it's attached to the original image. And it sort of creates a keyframe. So to create the flipping effect, I placed the image on top of the original like so. And then use this Flip Horizontal button right here and you'll see that it, it flips it over let me place it back and then I'll add another animation point by clicking this button right here that says add point and we'll see it creates another one right here and then I'll place it right on top again and then I'll use the same button to flip it again and this frames box right here lets you control the speed of the animation Essentially, 24 frames equals one second. Now let me just open the timeline and remove the sketch. As you can see, the default is sketch by hand. So I'm just going to remove that and replace it with nothing right here. Nothing before. I'll just reduce this. Then if I close the canvas, you will see that it animates. Let's take a quick preview. So now let me just open the canvas and I'll hide the timeline. And let me just dissect this animation for you. So as you can see, you've got the original and then you've got the first animation point and then the second animation point as you can see they're all attached together. So for example, if you want to make this fly, you can just remove it from the canvas put it in here and put this one here for example I'll create another point by adding this one here and I'll flip it down here so essentially I just changed the path and if I close the canvas you will see how it animates exactly how I placed it so essentially you know the way you place these animations and animation points it's going to do exactly you know what you want it to do so now let me show you how the eagle and clouds animation works. It essentially works on the same principle. So let me create a new scene. And I'm going to add an image using the add bitmap image. I'm going to get a clouds. That's the one. Let it load. And once it loads, don't sketch. I'll add it. And then I'll go full screen. And I'm just going to reduce the size a little bit. And I'm just going to increase the size of the image as you can see in relation to the canvas and what I'm going to do is I'm going to again click on add animation point or add animation button and then as you can see it creates another image duplicate image and what I'm going to do is for it to move I'm just going to place it a little bit off to the right as you can see here and if I close the canvas you will see you know it, it moves you see I mean I obviously I haven't placed it exactly the way it should be Maybe it's a bit too much right there. And as you can see, it moves, but obviously it's too fast. And like I mentioned to you earlier, if you change this 24 frames, which is one second to, let's just say, you know, 200, you'll see it'll be much slower. As you can see, this is much better, right? So that's how you make it move. So the next step is to add that GIF image of the eagle. So I'm going to get that from here, and that's the one. And I'll say don't sketch and I'll say add and it's right here so what I'm going to do is 
the same principle here. I'm just going to click on the add animation and that's the one so I will place it here and then I will add another animation point it will create another one so I'm just sort of creating this I'm just going to increase the size just to give it some nice feeling of depth I will create another animation point so as you can see I'm just creating more animation points I will increase it slightly more add another animation point and then drag it right there increase the size and then finally I'll create another animation point and take it off the canvas okay so let me just close the canvas you will see that the bird or the eagle comes in but it, as you can see it just flaps its wings once and so what we need to do is we need to go to this GIF tab right here this one and just check this box here that says loop GIF right here and as you can see if we preview the scene it's a nice flapping eagle going across and at the same time you can see that the the clouds are moving in the background as well let's do a quick preview again but that's how you work with animation points so this is also a video that I created using animation points. Uh, this is kinetic text and I've got a tutorial on my YouTube channel showing you how to do this step by step. And you will find a link off the uh, tutorial in the description section. And um, like you saw, I mean this is purely done just using the animation points and it looks pretty cool. Alright, so before you go, I just want to let you know that uh, I'm working on this tutorial on how to use text animation in EVC 3.0 and we'll upload it soon. Anyway, you will find many more explain your tutorials on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check in and I uh, hope you found this tutorial useful. Please let me know if you've got any questions and as always, thanks for watching.